Hey guys, what's up? My name is Noob and welcome to the second part of the Art of War Red Tides. Now, uh, I have played this game quite a lot and um, you can see here um, I have my army set up on Atlac. Now, this video is about the best unit in the game and probably the best team. Um, if you don't know how to counter it effectively and uh, so you can see my profile I've got a 66 67% uh, win rating that is 22 wins so basically I only have 10 ranked losses and 22 wins um, mostly it is three of them three of those losses I played without this great team I just lost my first three uh, games in ranked you can see I'm now a second silver star uh, Whatever commander and I'm um, I just played my first 1v1 1v1 was introduced today in the new patch uh, update um, I've only played rank you can see there victory 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 mostly victories uh, This was a quick play. I lost these two because of course it's never my fault <laughs> uh, I've won four in a row, but with this build, I'll tell you guys, with this build, I have done 17 wins in a row. 17. 1-7. One, and this is basically because the strongest unit in the game fights for Atlac. Now, this unit doesn't have the most health or the most damage per shot. And, of course, you guys know already who it is. It is Ar Arhat this unit it's a basic unit you get him on level like 20 or something you you can get him he is the strongest unit in the game and I'll tell you why if you go to stats he's got a health of 110 50 shield um, so he only has 160 health he's got 7 armor which is great but he does the most damage per second of any unit in the game he can take on any other unit and kill them very easily so basically two of the heavens in the next eight seconds Arhat firstly attacks air targets with range rising uh, to 33 uh, uh, damage and double attacking power so double attacking power the damage doubles on robotic units so any uh, battleship or anything like that he destroys uh, quite easily the population cost is one which is obvious uh, then it doubles on robotic units uh, it takes out battleships in an instant so then re uh, refraction of burning crystal it's Arfat radiates the power of a crystal core to attack an enemy with 37 points of uh, damage after a short power charge and 200 damage to mechanical units now basically what this means is you can see how he attacks he starts and then he sends out a burst every like 0.5 seconds so that means he dishes out a shitload of damage just to a single target though it he doesn't do area damage but that doesn't really matter because late game if you have these big units like even uh, fire turtles if you look at a uh, fire turtle fire turtle has 300 uh, 360 health but an Arfat can can kill this thing one Arfat can kill a fire turtle easily and the cost difference is is great um, uh, Arfat only costs uh, 1500 uh, it takes 750 initial uh, uh, res uh, 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 research cost and then 1500 so 2250 you get the Arfat and he only costs 1500 so you can spawn these things a lot you can make a lot of them and also a good thing with transformation that I have on uh, I can transform a, a Arfat into Vajra if I need a Vajra now what a Vajra does is like it's a good combo with an Arfat Vajra is here basically what a Vajra does is Vajra is a mid game defense unit of Altac, uh, Atlac uh, when, uh, when has shield when he has a shield every hit on Vajra cannot deal damage more than 20 so he has 80 shield so excuse me <coughs> Ooh, sneeze 
um, he has 80 shield so basically during this 80 shield he can only take four hits it doesn't matter uh, whatever and uh, whatever you do he only takes for uh, uh, 20 damage Vajra shoots a compressed uh, power ball also and damage biological units for 47 damage 200% on biological damage that is a lot of damage uh, that he does uh, you can go with tips and whatever so he's a good defense hero for if you have our hut as your main hero also the great thing about our hut is he's uh, attack range is 24 range that is massive massive range you can see here already he just takes them out so easily uh, he has massive range and especially his uh, air he can take out any air unit easily especially if they start with these unicorns or dragons you can take them out as well also airdrop air, uh, airborne drops you can take out the airborne drop before it's even half done and you kill it now if you if you have the counter for Arhat is, uh, let, I'm, I'm gonna start a game now soon, I'm just gonna tell you also about the Unicorn. The Unicorn is the upgrade for the Azure Dragon. The Unicorn costs 2400 and look at what he does. He shoots out an initial ball, okay, electric ball, which does 80 damage, okay, and then it stays there for 8 sec, uh, wait, sorry, 5 seconds. You can dig there the ball goes and it stays there for five seconds dealing 10 damage every second so he does 130 damage total and to small units he does area damage so he he splash damage and he uh, it is a biological unit uh, which i don't know i just wanna uh, and uh, armor defense is invalid so that eight damage sorry eight damage uh for five seconds and that arm it goes through armor so if and he has 28 range so he can stand be behind the Arhat and shoot in these balls damaging massive waves of enemies um, now let me just go rank I'm gonna go 3v3 I just won a 1v1 which was incredible this guy he had Terran going up against me uh, I had my uh, Atlak and uh, this guy was spamming units so much he at some point he had 270 units I had only 60 uh, but guess who won I did uh, what happened was that uh, it came the end of the round came you can see here the stats the end of the round came it was way 49 he killed 1827 units uh, who kills 1827 Oh, that's me. Units, I only had a, a thousand one hundred and thirteen. You can see he had a way more units than I did. Uh, gold, I didn't have that much gold. He had forty nine thousand gold. Uh, soul essence, I did. I he had four thousand eight hundred gold. So he had way more abilities than I did. He had way more uh, units, way more everything basically. But the only fact is that I spawned Arhats. Arhats. Uh, defensive capabilities is amazing uh, a bunch of them grouped up together you cannot kill them uh, airstrike don't kill them um, and I had then the unicorns coming from the back and unicorns basically um, two unicorns with one shot take out a, um, a sentinel uh, very easily uh, you can see here uh, wait let's see the sentinel oh no I don't want to do that confirm sentinel uh, only has he actually had the other one he had these ones they only have 130 health so they they quickly they died like really quickly just with one shot actually of one and uh, what is this anti-air sentinel okay so but the thing is about these dragons, you have to be careful as they count as air units. They count as air units and um, uh, anti-air units can attack the dragons as well. So you have to be careful there, you have to check out what they have. If they, if you're take, playing against a team with Arhats, um, they can take out the dragons quite quickly. Because this ability on an Arhat is that when you activate it, he targets uh, air units. Uh, immediately he targets them and uh, he targets air units and take them out quite quickly 
Um, now I'm gonna try and show you how to how to how powerful these units really are. You idiot! I don't understand this. They ban a Terran uh, ability. Not one of us have Terran. Not one of us is really uh, a Terran. Ah. He banned the Arhat. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back and uh, uh, the previous game they banned the Arhat and uh, I picked Terran and uh, we won of course. Actually quite quickly. And um, now I'm back. They have banned the Great uh, Vajra but I'm gonna select the Lightning Tower, and Petrify which is great and of course Essence Collector. Now Essence Collector uh, it is a great ability where you can get like 2,000 essence per use I think maximum I, I, I'm, I don't know if there is a maximum but I have done like 2,000 so it's a great ability especially because it's low cost now I'm gonna show you the great Arhat what this unit is capable of uh, the only thing that I don't have in my team, which you can absolutely remedy, is a good starter unit. Now, all of these units, all four of them, a flamethrower, one, two flamethrowers, take all of them out, easily. Now, there is a unit I'm saving for, he costs 5,000 gold, he's an invis blade, uh, he's, it's called the blade master. Uh, I'm saving for him right now and once I have the blade master then all of these three I don't technically don't use them what I'm gonna do is these sentinels uh, there is these uh, uh, chanter and these uh, robotic units that they give you shield regen they give you shield healing uh, extra damage reduction so I'm gonna take one blade master and I'm gonna fill then those other three up with uh, these sentinels to to support my team to aid my team now it is time for your performance. Actually, I'm gonna start with him. Because once these guys lock onto a target, they don't let go. I'll just hide my screen recorder. And these gold, uh, these guys, they, they have more health, but they don't do that it's much damage. Uh, I am going against a Terran unit, so they will probably have a uh, flamethrower. No, they don't have anything. I think I know what he's doing. He's going for a... Um... See this aura? This aura allows uh, friendly units uh, to take reduced uh, range damage. Meaning they take reduced damage by uh, 6, I believe. So this unit, this unit right here, can't damage these chanters. It can't. But they are vulnerable to melee attacks, of course. Let's go ahead. Eight is enough for now. Unstoppable. So they, yeah, they give an aura. Off. Oh, there they go. The aura again. Upgrade your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but first we need uh, detectors because he's going commandos. Commandos is a very useful a unit. They are inverse. They do biological damage. So technically, um, if we build Arhat, Arhat, sorry, um, Arhat uh, commanders won't do damage to Arhat, and also they can snipe for 120 Dominating. pure damage. But Arhat uh, will build just. Units. I have to take you. Uh, I will just use this unit, uh, Scholar. Scholar uh, heals 50. Uh, Shield. I think it's 50. Unstoppable. So even if they reduce the shield, take out the shield, I can... Um, there we go. Come on. I've seen this strategy work, going sp spawning full commandos. Like they just keep on going commando. 
but it's it's easy to counter uh, the commanders you just get a, a bunch of units and uh, then their abilities won't work as they intend and bring this unit in as well so what they do is um, the illusionist they summon uh, a small illusion basically that deals um, minor damage There we go, got the 600. Now I'm gonna start with the Arhats, bring in the Arhats. Put this here to get some money from them so every unit that dies I get a little bit of cash now there is a bug with this ability if you are upgrading your uh, your essence generator it doesn't work it won't work as uh, if if the money comes in it, it doesn't I believe it's a bug Yeah, that's easy. See this Arhats? They can counter one. Boom. Dead. All of these commanders. Look. 690. And I, of course, upgrade the Arhats to full. Get these lightning tower in. Now. This is what the, where the Ara comes in. I click this ability of his and he targets the uh, the air unit immediately. Come on, kill it. No, didn't get it. But luckily I spawned this lightning tower which took out almost all of them. I think it's over already. This idiot is gonna continue uh, with commandos. So commandos, what they do is they do double damage against biological units. Oh, and look at this, look at this. This fire turtle is gonna die against my Arat so quickly. Fire turtle has major health, but they they don't, um, they have 10 range only, but my Arats can focus fire that thing like crazy. So this is gonna be easy when I believe. Dominating. We're just dominating at the moment. See, look at this Arats, how they shoot. Each shot, each of those shots is 33 damage. Boom, 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 boom. It's crazy how much damage they do. Now I'm gonna put it again here. Now here comes the fire turtles. Let's see how they die. Ooh, no, 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 don't, don't destroy my essence. See those fire turtles, they don't do anything. Ah, oh, 570. Nice. I'm gonna go up to 8 Arhats and then I'm gonna spawn in... Um, wait, I'm gonna go full Arhats until l l uh, round 25. Um, what I'm gonna do is sell these guys down. Uh, yeah, look at these Arhats. Look how much damage they do. Boom, 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 boom. They just annihilate and they are so strong um look at that their lost hour done Push out it. don't let the sacrifice go in vain boy no 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 see they're just trying to to destroy my round because my my round is just annihilating them completely then i have this petrify petrify will uh, stun them of course now this is an egg that was launched. And the one who kills the egg, they get the uh, this unit that was... Look at all of this. Money! Money, money! There we go. That's it. Round 25. Wave 25. Upgrade your mines. I just always send this message because... 
It's it's so important to upgrade your mines. Look how strong this thing is. Now this dragon. Now I click this ability, they will focus this dragon. Look at this. Look how much damage they do. Let's petrify these guys. That's 1,500 for us in the bank. Thank you. They just crap out damage like it's it's insane. Oh, even f yeah, these flying units they won't have a big effect. They they, they won't because these arats will target them, these air units, and just take them out. And once they start accumulating like this, like we're doing now, they're just unstoppable. There's no way you can stop them. Here's the bears. These bears belly flop, de dealing area damage. Here comes my guys again with the detector. This detector will take them out. And look at look how fast this air, this air bomb goes down. Boom. That's our huts with their ability. Uh, I target them. Yeah, that's it. Easy win for us. That's how powerful these units are. They have a 160 health each. They cost only a thousand five hundred. These they should be way more. Look at me. Yeah, MVP. I am MVP a lot, <laughs> actually. Yeah. So that's it. I'm now almost three. That was a quick game. Uh, so fast over. Uh, I've only had a hundred and uh, one thousand six hundred gold to spend because um, the game just didn't last that long, and they didn't upgrade there as well. But even in very difficult uh, games, at the end, uh, our huts are the units that you want. Uh, here we go, one, one v one. Okay, please try again later. Ah, oh, okay, uh, okay. So our huts, they are a uh, end game hero, which is awesome. Victory, 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 and we keep climbing. I want to get to seventy percent. And yeah, guys, that is the strongest unit in the game so far. Um, I'm, I haven't seen every every unit's full potential. Y Yaguay, uh, I haven't seen all of them. But these rhinos are pretty strong. This unit, um, Toad, uh, this thing, Devourer. Now, a Devourer, look at this, what he can do. Kloop. He eats units and he prioritizes the most uh, HP units. So those fire turtles with 360 health, one shot dead. He eats them and that's any unit. I've even seen this thing, a uh, devourer, eat the level 25 dragon. The level 20, the wave 25 dragon, one shotted it with full health, two, 1,500 uh, essence in your pocket. That was what a devourer can do. If you if you have Yagui, you need a devourer at least for that round to one shot it. Uh, bone dragons are immensely powerful as well. They do area ground damage. You can see that, and it's 60 area ground damage, uh, and it's uh, it causes uh, bone die causing 60 damage to the target and enemies within 4.5 radius. Okay, guys, there's a connection problem. Uh, uh, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next episode as I talk a little bit about how to counter the Arhat. Uh, I'm going to tell you how to counter the Arhat. There's only one way actually. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, sh I'll try to show you that in the next round. Bye bye guys. See you soon. Oh, but with this build, I'll tell you guys, with this build, I have done 17 wins in a row. 17. 1 7. And this is basically because the strongest unit in the game fights for Atlak. Now, this unit doesn't have the most health or the most damage per shot. And of course, you guys know already who it is. It is our. Arhat, this unit. It's a basic unit. You get him on level like 20 or something. You you can get him. 
He is the strongest unit in the game and I'll tell you why. If you go to stats, he's got a health of 110, 50 shield. Um, so he only has 160 health, he's got 7 armor which is great. But he does the most damage per second of any unit in the game. He can take on any other unit and kill them very easily. So basically two of the heavens. In the next 8 seconds Arhat firstly attacks air targets with range rising uh, to 33 uh, uh, damage and double attacking power. So double attacking power. The damage doubles on robotic units. So any uh, battleship or anything like that he destroys uh, quite easily. The population cost is 1, which is obvious. Uh, then it doubles on robotic units, uh, it takes out battleships in an instant. So then, re uh, refraction of burning crystal, it's Arfat radiates the power of a crystal core to attack an enemy with 37 points of uh, damage after a short power charge and 200 damage to mechanical units. Now basically what this means is you can see how he attacks, he starts and then he sends out a burst every like 0.5 seconds. So that means he dishes out a shitload of damage just to a single target though. It, he doesn't do a area damage but that doesn't really matter because late game if you have these big units like even uh, fire turtles, if you look at a fire turtle, fire turtle has 300. Uh, 360 health but an Arfat can can kill this thing one Arfat can kill a fire turtle easily and the cost difference is is great um, uh, Arfat only costs uh, 1500 uh, it takes 750 initial uh, uh, res uh, 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 research cost and then 1500 so 2250 you get the Arfat and he only costs 1500 so you can spawn these things a lot you can make a lot of them and also a good thing with transformation that i have on uh, i can transform a hey guys what's up my name is noob and welcome to the second part of the art of war red tides now, uh, I have played this game quite a lot and um, you can see here um, I have my army set up on Atlak. Now, this video is about the best unit in the game and probably the best team um, if you don't know how to counter it effectively and uh, so you can see my profile, I've got a 67% uh, win rating. That is 22 wins, so basically I only have 10 ranked losses and 22 wins. Um, mostly it is 3 of them, 3 of those losses I played without this great team. I just lost my first 3 uh, games in ranked. You can see I'm now a second silver star, uh, whatever, commander. And um, I just played my first 1v1. 1v1 was introduced today in the new patch. Uh, update. Um, I've only played rank. You can see there victory, victory, victory. Mostly victories. Uh, this was a quick play. I lost these two because of course it's never my fault. <laughs> uh, I've won four in a row. Uh, Arfat into Vajra if I need a Vajra. Now what a Vajra does is like it's a good combo with a Arfat. Vajra is here. Basically what a Vajra does is, Vajra is a mid-game defense unit of Altak, uh, Atlak. Uh, when, uh, when, has shield, when he has a shield, every hit on Vajra cannot deal damage more than 20. So he has 80 shield. So... Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, sneeze. Um, he has 80 shield, so basically... During this 80 shield, he can only take 4 hits. It doesn't matter uh, whatever and uh, whatever you do, he only takes 4 uh, uh, 20 damage. Vajra shoots a compressed uh, power ball also and damage biological units for 47 damage. 200% on biological damage, that is a lot of damage uh, that he does. 
Um, you can go with tips and whatever. So he's a good defense hero for if you have Arhat as your main hero. Also, the great thing about Arhat is his uh, attack range is 24 range. That is massive, massive range. You can see here already, he just takes them out so easily. Uh, he has massive range and especially his uh, air, he can take out any air unit easily. Especially if they start with these unicorns or dragons, you can take them out as well. Also, airdrop, air, uh, airborne drops. You can take out the airborne drop before it's even half done and you, you kill it. Now, if you, if you have the counter for Arhat is uh let, I'm, I'm gonna start a game now soon i'm just gonna tell you also about the unicorn the unicorn is the upgrade for the azure dragon the unicorn costs 2400 and look at what he does he shoots out an initial ball okay electric ball which does 80 damage okay and then it stays there for eight sec uh wait sorry five seconds you can look there the ball goes and it stays there for five seconds dealing 10 damage every second so he does 130 damage total and to small units he does area damage so he he splash damage and he uh, it is a biological unit uh, which i don't know i just wanna uh, and uh, armor defense is invalid so that eight damage sorry eight damage uh for five seconds and that arm it goes through armor so if and he has 28 range so he can stand be behind the arhat and shoot in these balls damaging massive waves of enemies um now let me just go rank i'm gonna go 3v3 i just won a 1v1 which was incredible this guy he had Terran going up against me 